Hey guys, what's up? Corey here. Um, so Steph and I just got back from two weeks on the road in our RV. Uh, it's pretty fun. We went through uh, southern Arizona and New Mexico and we just got back two days ago and right now we're down in Mesa, Arizona. I'm hanging out at my parents' house right now. And uh, so this is my the first video from our trip and basically what I'm going to try and do is just I'm going to do like a little video intro I think for these videos, give a synopsis of kind of what we did and where we went and then show a map of where we drove and then have a slideshow towards the end showing all the places and pictures that we stopped at. So, um, uh, well life in the RV is, is pretty awesome actually. We, For those of you that don't know, we have a 24 foot Jayco Greyhawk um, and I'll do a video tour of it in one of the upcoming videos. but. Um, it was great. I mean, we didn't fight really. We got along really well. Uh, when you're in a small space like that, it forces you to to deal with one another a lot a lot sooner and simpler and faster than you would in a, a normal house where you can kind of run to the bedroom or the family room and hide. So, um, for, so like I said, for this trip, we went through uh, southern Arizona and southern New Mexico. We hit three national parks and uh, I think four national monuments and one state park so we had a blast it was a ton of fun uh learned a lot so we're, we're back in Prescott right now because oh well, mesa we're going to go back to Prescott tomorrow but we got to get rid of some stuff in the rv um, add some stuff we got to order some stuff offline or go buy it and add it to the rv and then uh, we got an offer on our house so we're hoping all that pans through so we can kind of get things wrapped up at our house and hit the road full time but so one of the most important things that came up with our uh, our trip this was came up with a name for our RV. We're gonna call her Wanda, uh, Wanda the Wanderlust Machine, or Wandering Wanda, or Wonderful Wanda, Wayward Wanda. We're trying to come up with that that adjective to describe her, but Wanda is definitely it. And we got some uh, oh, suction cup stick figure guys that we've been sticking to the windshield of the RV and taking some pretty sweet photos with. So we're going to name them Carlos. I picked Carlos. He's the orange one and uh, Sacagawea is the, the clear colored one. So you'll get to see them plenty, I'm sure, during our pictures. So um, yeah, that's it for this first video. Um, I'm hoping to do one video a week. So this video, I'm going to do an over... This video is going to be a little different. I'm going to do an overview of what we did the last two weeks. And then uh, I'll just show pictures from week one, and then I'll do another video next week with pictures from week two. So that's kind of what I'm planning is one video a week with what we did that week. Um, also, something else I'm going to do in these videos is I'm going to ask for any suggestions that you guys have to improve videos, what you want to see, where you want us to go, if you have recommendations for where we should go. Um, I'm going to try and give like a projection of where we're going to be heading. So. Right now we're planning to stay in Prescott for another week and a half or so. Um, and then we're gonna, I think we're either, depending on if the house sells. If our house sells right now, we're probably gonna stay in Prescott a little longer to wrap things up. And then we'll head to Texas immediately after that. If our house doesn't sell, then we're probably gonna do a mini trip through Southern California and Nevada. So um, I'll let you guys know at the next video if we sold our house or not. And be thinking of some ideas of things to do in Texas or and or Southern California. If you got any suggestions for us, we'd love to hear them. All right, guys, so here's our map of where we traveled during this uh, first couple of weeks. So we started out in Prescott, headed down to Mesa, Arizona, stayed the night at my parents' house, and then we headed to Roper Lake State Park from there. Uh, we were gonna stay at Oak Flat Campground, which is a forest service campground on the Tonto National Forest uh, near Globe AZ, but there was like a lot of squatters there and just like dogs running everywhere. It's kind of a madhouse, so we decided to skip that and just headed straight to Roper. Stayed there a couple nights. Uh, the next day we drove over to the Oregon Mountains. Did some day hiking there and we boondocked. We just, um, you know, we have solar panels and onboard water and generator and all that. So we just camped out in the desert that night and spent the day hiking the Oregon Mountains the next day. Um, from there we drove through El Paso. And we went over to the Guadalupe Mountains and we spent the night there. Um, we didn't do any hiking there and that's because there was like a high wind advisory of like 55 mile an hour winds. It was like sleeting and the park rangers there were like, we don't recommend going up. So we just kind of camped out and we spent some time on the trails around the visitor center and uh, we just left, took off from there and called it good. Uh, from there we went to Carlsbad Caverns and we spent like a whole day there pretty much. It was, if you haven't been, that's a really cool way. Um, 
it's really it's just incredible so we just spent the day there we hiked down the natural entrance into the cave um hiked around down there and saw the the tunnels we didn't do any uh like splunking or anything we just did the self-guided tour and then rode the elevator out so then from there we kind of just bopped around until we got over to white sands um white sands was by far my favorite destination on this uh trip it was incredible i had a blast there we spent like six or seven hours hiking around the monument and we would have stayed longer but um they had like it's right White Sands is right next to Holloman Air Force Base, and they had some missile testing they were doing the next day. So White Sands was actually closed from like 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So we had to leave. Um, then from there, we went back through Las Cruces, and we drove up to Albuquerque. And we actually stopped there um, at the Region 3 Forest Service office, and I saw some of my old coworkers and stuff. So I hung out. we hung out with them for um, a couple of hours just – bs and having a good time and uh we went up to the sandia mountains from there and when we drove the back road up there to the the top of the peak and just hiked around there was a bunch of snow and it was really really cold and kind of miserable up there so we didn't spend a ton of time up there then something i don't have on this map is we went to santa fe and we spent a day there just kind of shopping and dinking around downtown getting some food and just spending some town time in their downtown area which was a lot of fun we had a, a great time doing that um from santa fe we went back back down to albuquerque and on the i-40 we drove through el mapias if uh, my dogs are running around if you can hear them but el mapias national monument and el moro national monument and these were really really cool too i highly suggest going there they're not a full day trip you can just spend a couple hours there but they're a lot a lot of fun um, from there, we went to the Petrified National Forest, and we spent a whole day there. Uh, the Petrified Forest is a whole day if you want to hike everything and see all the exhibits and museums and whatnot. So uh, we did that, and after that, we 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 left there like at 5 p.m., and we drove all the way back to Prescott that night. So it's kind of a long day. I was pretty exhausted after that, but we drove back to Prescott, dropped off the RV, and then um, rested for a day, and then we came down to Mesa. So um yeah that was our route for this last two weeks